In our last episode, we were about to leave Fort Myers Yacht Basin and head east on the Okeechobee Waterway. And that's what we've been doing, slowly. St. Lucie Lock at the eastern end of the waterway is closed for repairs until April 1st, so we're just shuffling along here, slowly making our way in that direction. Our first stop after Fort Myers Yacht Basin was Sweetwater Landing Marina, which is still technically in Fort Myers, but only because Fort Myers is a pretty big area. 
Sweetwater Landing is a nice little marina, and the Boathouse Tiki Bar and Grill is right nearby. But other than that, not much else in the area. Got us? The weather was quite warm and humid until Saturday, March 12th, when a cold front swept through, bringing rain, wind, and a 20 degree temperature drop. Monday, March 14th, we left Sweetwater Landing and headed east. Our original plan was to travel only about eight miles before anchoring in an oxbow, but when we got there, the spot really didn't look suitable. We opted to keep moving through the Franklin Lock to the town of LaBelle.
LaBelle has a public dock area where boaters are allowed to stay for free for up to three days. The facility is a bit awkward to use, but electricity and water is provided, so we sure can't complain. There are several restaurants, convenience stores, and a nature park, so we'll stick around for a bit. We left LaBelle on March 18th and continued eastward. Today we're headed for an anchorage about 10 miles away, called the Lollipop. After a few days listening to the constant traffic over the bridge in LaBelle, we're hoping to find someplace quiet.
That's a hundred bucks, isn't it? Now that we're safely anchored someplace quiet, we'll leave you for now and see you next time when we finish up the Okeechobee waterway and head north along the Atlantic coast.